Hi, I'm Paul Germain, and welcome to another session of Smart Boating. As you know, if you've watched the show before, we cover a variety of topics from hurricane protection to man overboard. And the general idea is to provide you with information that will help you make smarter decisions and have more fun on the water. Today's show is right up that alley. We're going to look at a very important but oftentimes overlooked topic, which is marine clothing. And joining me to help us navigate through this is Sharon Longo at West Marine. Sharon, good to see you. Good morning, Paul. Thank you, thank you. Hey, um, we've got a cool show here today. I think people are really gonna enjoy it. But before we get into it, can you tell them a little bit about your involvement in boating and a little bit about West Marine? Absolutely. Thank you for inviting me here on the show this morning. Mm -hmm. And what I'd like to say is that I've been boating all of my life. Really? My family had a boat, always boated when I, uh, got older, I purchased my own boat and sailing and then moved from sailing to motor boating and mm -hmm. so I've always been on the water oh. working for West Marine, one of the largest retailers in marine goods with yeah. over 100,000 products wow. in over 260 stores nationwide. Yeah. It's just been a natural fit. Yeah, how long have you been here at West Marine? I've been here four years. Four years. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you have a ton of boating experience, you got great West Marine experience. Yes. So, yes. uh, with that knowledge, why don't we get right into the show? Absolutely. Okay. Well, Sharon, you know, uh, this topic of marine clothing is a huge one. We can't cover it all, but I think we can cover most, some of the most important points. And a uh, question I could see someone asking is, why should I take the time to spend on picking the right marine clothing? What would you say? That's a very good question. Mm. And a lot of people do need to think about it. Um, to make it a more enjoyable and fun time out on the water. Yep. A little bit of planning ahead, thinking of what your weather conditions might be, mm -hmm. and uh, how long you're going to be out there can make the experience all the more enjoyable. Could make a big difference. It right? absolutely can. <laughs> right. Well, we've got an example. You know, a good, good technique, my understanding, is to layer when you have the opportunity. Correct. And, uh, and there's some new fabrics that have come out. I'm wearing pretty much an all cotton shirt, which a lot of people traditionally have worn. But this one we've got here on the mannequin, that's designed a little differently, isn't it? It is indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, this one by Helly Hansen actually has merino wool in it. And a uh, couple of factors about that are that it wicks away the moisture mm -hmm. better. Yep. And it also has the antimicrobial so that you're not as Oh, Odiferous. it always smells nice. It always smell always nice. smells nice, yeah. yes. Merino wool, I love merino wool. It's very soft. It is very soft yeah. to the touch. Yeah, and it's durable. Yes. So that, that could make an excellent, excellent base layer. That's better That's than all correct. cotton like I've got on. Yes, it is. Right. That is correct. The base layer is very important. Now here's another possibility for a base layer. It right? is. How it's does an, this differ it's from another one we were just option. Looking at? This one is a two layer, the Lifatec technology. Okay. Um, they all have the the UPF, the ultraviolet protection factor, yeah. in them, oh, wow. both do. Um, okay. This has the 30, and this one with the two layers also helps keep the moisture away. Okay. Doesn't have as much as the antimicrobial. Oh, it doesn't. This may have with okay. the merino wool, Yes. but still just different purposes, different things. When would someone pick this one here, the one that we have on top in contrast to the merino wool? This one here might be the one that you would opt for if you're going out for a nice dinner cruise, but it's going to oh. be chilly out, okay. and you want a layer, you want a base layer. Yes. Um, you need to move around on a sailboat, perhaps, and adjust your lines and your sheets. Yeah. Yep. This one here might be a very good alternative if you're racing and really, really hustling around the on wool. the boat. Yeah. The yes. Wool. The okay. one with the merino wool. All right. Good, because they look kind of similar, but but there are four different purposes. Correct. Really. Yeah. Correct. Now we've got another one here. Yes. What's this? So we're layering. So still. now what's, we're layering. What's going on here? And so. You know, over the years, we've all been told about layering mm -hmm. to keep your core body temperature warm. Yes. And by doing so, this layering effect um, gives you that. Okay. Again, you know, just keeping the warmth in, having the protection from the sun, mm -hmm. as well as. So this has the UPF? It does. Too. It has the okay. UPF. Which is nice. They go which, like 30 to 50 on that's some of these right. And you know, once duty. you get offshore, it gets chilly out there. Yes, yes. So, um, again, and this will just zip up and uh, keep you another so layer of So this would be an warmth. ideal way to go, what we've shown them so far, the marina or the other one as a, as a base, and then you layer it with this, right? Exactly. And that's going to that's gonna be really sufficient 
it, probably in a lot of in the lot majority of, the of cases here. it would be quite yeah. sufficient around yes. here. Yes. Yes. Well, Sharon, you know, I, I do a lot of boating in different seasons, spring, summer, and fall. And uh, this layering technique we've been talking about is a great idea. But, you know, one of the critical things or most important things in my wardrobe, if you will, is a fleece. Absolutely. So you've got a fleece there in the hand. Can you can we I put do. it on our mannequin here and talk a little bit about that? The one that we're using now is obviously the sleeveless yeah. vest. Yeah. Because when we're on the boat, Paul, as you know, you need the maneuverability. Yes. So a lot of times you want your core warm, but yes. you want to be able to move around on the boat. Yes, yes. And okay. a fleece, and especially a vest, offers you that comfort and warmth. Yeah. Um, this is a Polar Tech fleece by yeah. Columbia. Mm -hmm. It has this flap here. Okay, right in which here. Which oftentimes uh, people don't realize is there for a reason, and it's to prevent the wind from going through oh, there. That's a nice feature. Whether it's on the inside, sometimes it's on the outside as well. Okay. All um, right. This has the ribbing yep. here around the neck and under the arms to prevent chafing and for comfort. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it zips up and it's an, another layer. And it's got um, some nice pockets on it, it does, too, right? It, and we need yeah. them zipped so that we don't lose everything we put in our pocket. Yeah. So I like uh, personally, I like a, a large zipper because it's easy to get a handle on. Yes. And and, and it doesn't point. not so prone to breakage. Correct. So, and, and of course it comes uh, sleeveless and then this is the style I normally wear. I normally wear a long sleeve mm -hmm. and for the does, warmth. That's correct. Yep, yep, but it's got the same features as the sleeveless, right? Yes, it does. Yep. Well, Sharon, uh, you know, what we're gonna talk about next is another important part of this whole layering, keeping dry, keeping warm, which is a windbreaker. I mean, it's a simple thing, been around forever. But, but there's some differences in them, right? That's correct. So let's, let's kind of walk through them slowly for our, our, our guests. This is a, a brand. This is Hurley. Hurley, yep. And this is, you know, your typical windbreaker that any one of us may wear on any one of the days. Okay. It doesn't have to be for boating specifically, I see. per se. Go on a ball game Correct. or a cookout or whatever. Yep. You know, it has this wind flap that we spoke of earlier. Yep. Yep. And the piping around. Yes. For comfort, yep. pockets and such. And uh, the pockets do have a snap on them. A snap, okay. Which is nice. Um, but yes, this is no lining, there's no, no tape mesh seams, or anything. no right, mesh, right. none this of that. This is a good casual it is. Uh, alternative. Now, uh, what you're wearing there looks like it might be a step up. Now this would be the next step up. This yeah. does have the more rubberized coating for okay. waterproof. That's a waterproof jacket? It is waterproof. Okay. Um, and this is the Heli Hansen, has nice lines to it has the hood, the hood's nice, so, yeah. which is nice. Very nice. Um, this would yeah. be good for a light rain. Light, There's a little bit rain. of mesh around the back, around your core, okay. which is nice so that, that this doesn't stick to you. All this right, kind it of could rubbery. get sticky. It, it would get could. humid conditions, On right? On these humid conditions, it absolutely would. So yes. it's a nice feature. Yes. The Velcro cuffs to tighten That's it. That's nice, so anyone of any size can get a good fit That's to keep right. the water when, out of there, right? If you're reaching to cleat something off, you want to make sure that you're your jacket's not coming around to get in the way when you're trying to tie the boat off. That could be awkward. Which is not good. Uh, awkward. Yes. Sometimes they talked about uh, tape seams. Does that jacket have tape seams? And what does that mean? This one does not. Does not. Does not. So we'll see that in some of the other jackets. We will. Well, actually, no, I am mistaken. This does underneath oh, it have does. tape seams. It has tape seams. Now, yes. what does that mean? That's better water. It is. Uh, the water doesn't seep through. Prevent it from through. permeating. Yes, yeah. correct. So again, that's a nice feature. It is. As you move up in price. Um, these are some of the features you're gonna you're gonna enjoy. That's correct. Right? And then I've got a pretty bright jacket on here you now. You do. So uh, <laughs> what what are the differences between the one that I'm wearing and the one that you're wearing? So this one is the high performance one. Okay. This one has the taped seams. This is meant we just talked about, with yeah. the articulated arms so that you can move about and have more maneuverability. What does that mean? Articulated wise. arms. What does that mean? The articulated arms gives you more room under here, almost like a raglan sleeve. Oh, I see. This also has the zipper under here. Oh, it does. For venting. Oh, okay. To uh, never really guessed that. I've yes, never seen that before. So, which is a nice feature. Very nice. To feature. let out that uh, heat from yes. when we sweat. Okay. Um, zippered pockets, which is nice. As opposed to so, buttons, right? As opposed to a snap or not. Now that's going to be not. great to keep stuff in your pocket because I know oftentimes you get something, you're working near the water and things can drop out. Things so do drop. Good zippered pockets are really helpful. It is right? clutch, yep. yes. What else have we got here? So We've then we have some mesh around here. We have so it's um, just like over here. The lining, which mm -hmm. is here, and the taped seams again. Taped seams, yeah. Um, and a hood. The it hood, does yeah. have a hood. Yeah. And it snaps over 
the zipper, which I is see. nice. So it's got top and bottom. Zipper and the snaps. Correct. So that keeps it closed. It does. It yeah. does. It, it's meant for it to be when you're working hard on the boat. Yes, okay. And I think we have um, just one more version here. Yes. Put it up here on our fellow. This is Columbia's women's version. Yep. And being waterproof and breathable, that is the that's the purpose and the function that all of these jackets are trying to do. I see. Okay. All right. And all right. so in actuality, that is the latest technology, is to get the tight weave yep. on the fabric with the yep. taped seams to prevent the rain from coming in. The water can't but get yet in. You being able to breathe the sweat out. Right. And this has got some of the features we talked about on these jackets, the, the zippered pocket. It does. Uh, a, a this has flap. a full mesh lining it's got in it mesh. additionally. Yeah. So again, you want to pick your windbreaker, I guess, uh, in line with how you think you might be doing your boating, right? Correct. Sharon, we've got another uh, marine-related jacket here. I'm going to put it up on our mannequin here. And can you point out some of the features? This would be like a mid-layer here as opposed to a windbreaker. Yes. Windbreaker is simply typically to break the wind. Mm -hmm. This has a lining to it, it does. right? That's right. Yeah. Tell so us that more. This, um, this outside layer here will keep the rain off of you mm -hmm. and this will keep the rain the jacket from sticking to you okay so that's a nice option there yeah um, has the hood a which hood. is recessed into the collar okay for you to pull out as needed okay and another wonderful feature with this jacket here mm -hmm. by West Marine is this zipper yep. seals oh, and I it see locks that. in so that the rain does not come through so and that considered has, waterproof it is indeed Wow um, and it will oh, uh, get the double prevent zipper. the <laughs> rain from uh, going through because also of the wind flap. Yes, yes. and it does have the double zipper here. Oh, that's here, interesting. I haven't seen nice. that Which is nice when much. you're sitting down. That's a wonderful feature. I can see that a lot. Just the helm and then you want to sit on a seat for a while. Correct. Just zip it up. You're comfortable. Go back yep. to the helm. And speaking and of zippers, yeah. um, yeah. this zipper go on the pockets, mm -hmm. you would zip it up to close it up okay. and zip down, which most jackets do for a reason. Yeah. And the reason being that when you're not uh, on the boat, you've got your things and you want to put your phone or your keys in here, yes. you zip it up. Now, yeah. if you've put a knife or something that you need to get out fast yes. to cut some line or whatnot, yes. it's easier when you have this on to just simply pull that down. And yeah. it has, uh, you mentioned earlier in the program, a nice handle for your Something zipper you so that you can actually it. grab it. Yes. Especially if you have, if you have sailing gloves on and things like that, it makes a difference. Yes, yes, that's a good point. So this is the women's version. Women's. Um, and okay. there is a men's version as well. Yeah. And uh, these are a nice mid-layer, nice mid-layer You could wear jacket. a mid-layer or stand alone, right? It could Both be ways. absolutely a standalone yes. as well. Right. Yes. Now you've got another jacket to show I us, right? I do indeed. I have the Helly Hansen yeah. version. Yeah. And this one here. Put that up here. Is a nice one has the fleece oh, lining that is nice. all inside. That's going to be a little warmer than the one we just looked it at, right? It absolutely is. It is yep. definitely. And it has the pockets that will zip up as well. Okay. This one's got a nice pocket here. I can it see this being very useful for sunglasses, that sort of thing. Correct. Yep. Yep. yep absolutely. Mm -hmm. So nice neck collar line here yep. that will prevent no hood on chafing. This one, no see. hood. No hood on this no particular hood. model. Good observation. Yep. Yep. And um, nope. This is a nice mid layer. Yeah. The Velcro sleeves, mm -hmm. so that you know when you're reaching for things, the water doesn't drip down your arm, which yeah. is clutch. And this would be would this be fully waterproof? Yes. Yeah. Yes, this would be waterproof. Yeah. Um, you know, to a certain extent, not as waterproof as the women's version that we showed here. You I can see. feel this yes. has a more nylon yes, texture. Yes. 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 I feel this that. This one here um, is, is definitely the tighter weave and. So that more. would be considered definitely waterproof. This might Correct. be water repellent. Water repellent, water repellent. more mid-layer. You know, yes. you just need this, um, you know, in your bibs maybe. Beef up a little just bit. Just to get a little warmth. Well, Sharon, you know, um, boating is an adventure, and, and part of the adventure is the weather. And, and sometimes you get caught out and stuff, or you can anticipate getting caught out and stuff that's not real good. A lot of wind and, and rain and that sort of thing. And so you need a higher level of clothing, a more protective layer of clothing. And this jacket's right. a good example of that. This one's from Gill. It looks like an, it's an offshore type jacket. You're absolutely right, Paul. Mm -hmm. It is. And as you can see, it has the reflectors mm -hmm. all around. Yep. Um, 
we don't want you to fall overboard, but if you do, this is helpful. Yeah. And it's also helpful when you're on the boat for people to see you. Yeah, good So point. that yeah. um, you can, you know, they know where you are working okay. on the boat. Yeah. Um, so following the reflectors up and around, when yeah. you look at this, it has two sleeves within each other. All right. You have the Velcro, which we haven't seen on the neoprene sleeve here, yeah. to tighten this snugly against your wrist. Yeah. Then on the outside, you can also additionally adjust this. So you the want Velcro. mobility, but you also want the watertight seal. That's correct. Right? Yep. That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, and then it has the deeper arm okay. under the arm. For mobility. For mobility. Yep. Higher neck. Okay. The higher the neck, the more weather you can withstand. Okay, the rougher the weather. That's yeah, right. That keeps you and the, insulated. And the here. hood is the high visibility hood, the high vis wow. yellow. Yeah. So that again, um, with a reflector on the top, mm -hmm. that you can be seen and you pull this over, it has a nice visor here. Yes. And you can also adjust this here. Oh, you can. So okay. on either side with the toggle so it's there. So kind of customize. You can customize it. That's correct. Yep. And then uh, coming down the center here, mm -hmm. you have a nice comfortable fleece lining yes, here. Yes, that's nice. I like that. And a lot of Velcro in here. So you're really getting a you solid get seam right here. Sealed in you get nicely. Sealed in, yes. Um, has the two-way zipper so that you can do this. Okay. Um, coming down mm -hmm. as well as even come up. Coming up when you're sitting down. Yeah. Now, do these tend to be a little longer in body than some of the other jackets? That's correct, so yeah. that you can sit down and it'll go under your seat and keep you warm nice. and so I can not use that wet. Zipper, I'm comfortable That's and correct. I'm dry. Okay. That's right. Yep. Uh, going around to the sides now, there's a little bit more uh, reflection there. Okay. You have zippered pockets. Yeah, again, it's got a lot of pockets. I like it that. It does. And they're lined, And the nice too. fleece lined as yes. well, yes. which is good because it does get cold offshore. Yeah, it does. Cargo pocket here with the Velcro closed and lock things in there. Easy to keep those stuff and in there. And that, that cargo pocket also has this drainage port oh, here. Oh, that's nice. A few little holes here. So if a little water tiny, gets little in there, water, it's going to run out. It'll seep right out. Yep. And then following down, you can tighten it with this cord. You can adjust with the cord. So very customizable is what we're talking about Absolutely, here. Absolutely, you're correct, Paul. Yep. It is and very, very waterproof. Waterproof. From the get-go. This is the offshore two version for yeah. Gill, yeah. Um, for the men's style. Okay. I believe you yeah, have I the think... women's version yeah. is right there. Yeah. The men's come in black and the red, and the women's in uh, in the white and the red. Okay. Same features. Yep all around. Yeah. Nice, nice offshore jackets. Okay, so that's a nice jacket. Now you've got another one over I there. I do have another version here. Yep. This one is Heli's version. Okay. This right. is a men's jacket, the Skagen. Yeah. All the similar features, you know, just to uh, to repeat with the two-way zipper, yeah. Velcro. These are you're, time proven You're seamed to go in this way. and... Big uh, zippers. Big zippers. Big Get zippers. Your hands, when those hands are cold, yep. um, you've, got, you know, you, you've got something to grab you can on. You get right through it. Yes. Just the wind and just being uh, your hands mm -hmm. to grasp onto something. And this one looks like it has a mesh inside. It does. It has a mesh inside. Mm -hmm. And this has a, um, a material here oh. that's porous and breathable on the inside I lining. See. Yeah. An inside pocket. Okay. Um, you know, and that mesh to keep things away from your body so not it's not sticking, sticking to yeah. you. Yeah. Um, just in case you do need this, but you only need perhaps a base layer underneath. Yeah. Perhaps you don't need you're, all. You're out in the middle of the summer. But it's pouring and buckets it, a, and it's really bad, coming bad down. Right, right. Um, the hood, same, you know, same idea, same yeah. features, yeah. reflectors and things, and the uh, high vis yellow. Yeah. Um, and similar price points on both jackets. Mm -hmm. well, Sharon, you know, when the weather gets tough, or it looks like it's going to be really tough. I like to go with two pieces, not just a, a heavy-duty offshore coat, but I like to have a bib-style protection for my legs, too. We've Without got a couple a of different examples here. We Can do. you share with us how they, what the differences are, how they fit into the overall picture? Indeed, and they do go hand-in-hand. Hand. When people come into the store looking for a coat, if they don't have the bibs, mm -hmm. I have them try on the bib pants. Um, we'll show them two styles. Yep. This is the most popular for offshore. Mm -hmm. It has this, the adjustable, adjustable straps, straps here. Yep. This is Skills version. It's got a big zipper. A big zipper there. Yep. Reinforced knees because you're bending down. You're on your yes. knees a lot. Yes. Um, and a reinforced seat. Okay. When you're sitting down, if you're right. hiking you out, see that's working. a different fabric. Yep. Absolutely. Got a little elastic in here. And I guess to keep it. 
close to your torso. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so these, and the also the other important thing mm -hmm. is here on the cuffs, it has the Velcro and the buckle here so that, oh. which is plastic, so yeah. you can adjust and tighten this to your boots because oh, you'll also be wearing boots with right, your follow right, leather gear. Right, right. So that'll go around on the outside of your boots. Okay. Um, and that's a nice one here. Yeah, that's a beauty. The high inside flap here. The okay. one that you're holding yeah, this is, is this one here. This is the salopette. It simply means, you know, the straps are all one piece. It's not obviously oh, this right, strap right. here. So this is the salopette. Yeah. Often dinghy racers like these or any oh. type of racer okay. so they don't have to worry about the straps falling down. Mm -hmm. um, this has a mesh lining. Mm -hmm. A little bit lighter as well. This one oh, is. Oh it is. Yeah. Than, I can feel that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but so. Very waterproof. But waterproof nonetheless. Yeah. Um, adjustable on the sides here. This oh. is the women's version. I see. And they've done great things with women's technology lately yeah. and this has this zipper here that would have the drop down seat oh, nice. for nice necessary feature. yeah. features which yeah. is nice from Very the women's nice. standpoint. Yeah. Um, again, you know, it has the adjustable cuff down here so that you can tighten it okay. around your deck shoe, your boot, so on and so forth. I see. Down right. here. So these absolutely would go hand in hand with the offshore coat. Right. Which is nice. Right. Well, Sharon, you know, um, when people go boating, oftentimes they're trying to find a balance between uh, form and function or styling and being comfortable. And it's been interesting that uh, uh, there's been some designer shirts that come out that can offer you both those qualities, right? That's true. Yeah. That is very true, Paul. This is a particular guy, Harvey shirt. Yeah, that very famous has artist, right? Very Marine famous artist. artist. Yeah. And this is breathable. It has drying qualities to it, mm -hmm. and it has the UPF factor in it as well. This is How UPF does that work? 30. Yeah, so, so it's built it's into 30. the fabric, okay. and it's um, the ultraviolet protection factor oh. that's built into the fabric. The so darker you, the color, yeah. the more protection you're going to have. The higher, the higher protection. So it's almost like putting on sunscreen. It is, indeed, yeah. yes. Wow, that's nice. And you can have a nice stylish shirt. And you can still look good. Yes, yes. Well, we've got uh, a few examples of that. This one is from another manufacturer. That's right. Can you right. tell us a little bit about this? This one offers a couple of other things. Mm -hmm. um, this one is wicking away. This has the UPF 50, mm -hmm. you know, and, oh, okay. and this 50. Wow. has 50. And this wicks away, mm -hmm. has a hood. You know, there are so many types of boaters or paddle boarders, whether you're a kayaker or, yep. or stand up paddle, stand -up paddle yep. boarder, yep. you know, and the kayak fisherman. To be able to just pull up a hood oftentimes and keep that sun off of your neck is is nice. It's really nice. And yeah. is another comfort feature yeah. uh, to think about when you're clothing up and going out to do whatever you're going to do on yeah. the water. So this keeps you dry just with a little different approach, I guess. That's correct. Right? That's correct. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then um, that's another style. So these come with a, a variety of different brands and, 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 and manufacturers and models, right? We're yes. just showing some examples here today. We're just giving you today. a few examples yes. today yes. of what we offer, but uh, uh, certainly there one. are full selections, various yeah. colors and designs. Yes. And this is a UPF 30 okay. button-down shirt yeah. um, with the mesh lining. That's nice. So that keeps it away collar. from you, right? You that is. It keeps hot, the heat. Hot, humid the, day. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You know, and uh, this could be for sunglasses. There's a little hook over there on your here. side yeah, we got that, that you can cinch your sunglasses. Um, this also can do with a rolled-up sleeve. So okay. if you want to, oh, good. That's going to help you keep cool again. To that's roll up right. The to roll up the sleeve. Yep. And button it up and leave it up. You oh, can I also see. do that too okay, it'll stay if you up want there. a short sleeve. Yeah. Put it through this loop on the side like so. Um, and that's a nice feature too because then if it gets chilly out, drop the sleeve right. and, and uh, the conditions shape. do change. And these pockets, like many of the ones we've seen in the jackets, they'll drain, right? They will. They will. Yeah. These cargo Which pockets is important, as well. Because you're always around the water, and you're always getting things wet. And you wet. always seem to have something in your hand that you need to put in a pocket <laughs> somewhere. Right. Sharon, uh, we've got a spell of hot weather coming up, so a lot of boaters are going to say, how can I keep cool? They're going to go for a swim trunk or they're going to go for a short. And we've got some examples of some shorts here. Can you help highlight, you know, what, what, what they'd be looking at if they came into a marine store and were looking at shorts? Certainly. So this is the Hook and Tackle brand, mm -hmm. and these are a nice short that has a modern stretch fit. Oh, it does, yeah. Which is nice, and they're yeah. quick drying. 
So being quick drying, you know, inevitably you're going to get some obviously going to get wet, wet around the water. water. Yep. And so uh, quick dry is clutch. That's really um, nice. It yeah. really is. And then these two also have a zipper actually for their back pocket. Oh, I like that. Which is a nice feature. I'm always feature. worried about my wallet falling out or my keys exactly. or whatever. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so those would be the nice features to mention on that. The double stitching on the seams too. So that's going to make it last nice, longer. Last more longer durable. and not tear and you know and have a problem there. Okay. So that's a nice feature. That's nice. Yeah, I didn't know that this existed. That's a nice stretch material. Yeah. It's comfortable and it has yeah. a couple of extra pockets too. You know, they show you I little pliers yeah, 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 here, yeah, just to make which it is nice. Yes. Yeah. So then this one here, which is the Quicksilver version. Mm -hmm. A couple of different features. Oh. This one here has a mesh pocket. This is water okay. repellent. Um, so they're expecting it to get a little bit more wet. They are. If okay. You will. So they want to make sure these and pockets drain. These pockets are going to drain. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And then there's a little hoop here. If you have a carabiner and you want to put something, your keys or whatnot oh, yeah, yeah. That's good on idea. there. Yeah. Um, and again, too, these pockets here now. Um, if you recall, when we were looking at the jackets, they had that fused kind of yes. zipper. Yeah. This it assimilates that to a certain extent. It's not as bumpy because yep. this is right up to your body here, yes. but yes. it does close things off better. I see. So the water doesn't get in there as much because oh, okay. this one uh, has the draining pocket as well. I see. Okay. So, which is nice. So, a couple of nice features on uh, these particular two shorts, uh, yes. but there are numerous others that offer other features as well. Sharon, you, you, boaters boat in all types of weather. It can be hot, it can be cold, it can be in the middle. And, and oftentimes you want a pair of long pants. They're, they're the right choice for that particular situation. We've got a couple different examples here. Explain the highlights of that one that you have. So this is the Hurley dry fit, the Nike dry fit actually. Mm -hmm. uh, the they Nike, spouse, yeah. Yes, and it is wicking the moisture away from you. It is. So that it's keeping you dry and comfortable, oh, which okay. is nice. So it's um, very different from a regular jean then. A regular dungaree jean is not, not built that way. That's correct. That's a different, that's a key difference right that there, is, right? That yep. is a key difference, okay. good point. And you know, and it has finished seam edges, which is nice. Um, and the pockets obviously, and it moves. It moves. So it's a little it stretch. Moves Get a little stretch. A little bit of stretch with you. More so than a regular pants. The one that you are holding has a lot of stretch. Oh, it does. And gives you a lot of maneuverability. Oh, okay, so it's different. And yes. Mm -hmm. And so this one here has a finished and um, soft waistline yes, to it. Yes, I see that to nice prevent wide chafing. band up there. Yeah. And it also has a lot of stretch and give to this. So this is. Moving around on the boat, moving I around see. for an okay. active um, lifestyle. Yes. Yep. This is the one that has all of those features to it. Okay. A little zipper, I think, on your side there. Yes, I see it right here. If you wanted to zip something up in the pockets. Yep. Um, and this is repellent for it the is. rain. It okay. is. It's water repellent. Water repellent, yeah. Right. So you're still going to get a little wet, but it's not going to be, and it'll quick dry as well. Well, Sharon, you know, it's tough to believe, but we've got to wrap up the show today. Um, and I'm excited about know, the fact that we've actually been able to cover a lot of ground with regard to uh, the new clothing materials and styles that can help protect you from the various elements, both the sun and the water. Um, do you have anything you'd like to add before we wrap up the show today? Just a few things, Paul. Mm -hmm. Those elements that you speak of, yes, a little bit of prior planning yep. before you embark on the boat or to get out on the water would benefit you greatly. Yes. Oh, yeah. Really, a little preparedness will go a long way right. in your enjoyment out there on the water. Yeah. Um, I'm sure your local retailer, mm -hmm. Marine Goods, yeah. will be happy to help out any consumers that go there right. for purchasing some clothing Pick the right um, ones. and getting the right clothing for themselves on the water. Yep. And you could also go to westmarine.com mm -hmm. for a lot of information on their selections of clothing choices. Mm, that's excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Paul, for having me today. Thank you very much. And thank you, Smart Boating viewers, for joining us. If you co have comments or questions, please uh, contact us at www.smartboatingus.com. Thank you.